Hey guys, Harry here from COD Connected. Just to do some sort of off the cuff remarks about my impressions of Battle Royale. Now, total transparency, I was given a beta code by the company, which was very much appreciated. But the way the system worked was it was only open a couple hours a day and it just didn't line up with my day job. So I couldn't really jump on, so I felt bad for that. So I ended up buying the early access and we'll give you the impressions on that instead because I feel like I do owe them some sort of impressions video as I was meant to do one. So yeah, that being said, this is alright. It's not, it's not amazing. Like if you're looking for the Fortnite or PUBG killer, this is de it's definitely not it. It's made some interesting changes between this and the regular battle right that I played a while back. Like certain characters feel a lot weaker because they've removed the option of changing your talent tree. Like in the original game, you could change your talent tree so you could spec into dots or heals or whatever you wanted. Now you sort of just have the base abilities and those abilities get better with how rare a loot you find while in the while in the Royale and frankly that affects some of the fights. Some of the characters are now just unbalanced. There's this one particular one, I don't know the names of the characters offhand but she's a frost mage and she just absolutely devastates everyone else. I saw her fight, there was no one that just stood a candle to her. Every time I saw her you basically just have to run. You could fight her if it was a group situation, that'd be fine. Like, then you might you might get away with it if you and the other player work together. But yeah, so if you're looking for that, that ultimate Battle Royale experience, I wouldn't say this is it. It is fun. There's some really cool visuals to it compared to what other Royale games have to offer. Especially the art style, I really enjoy it. The free-to-play aspects of it feel a little, eh. And you might be wondering why I would say free-to-play aspects when it only costs, when it costs money, in fact. And that's because it very much has some free to play aspects, like it doesn't have play to win, pay to win even, but it will have some really grindy rewards unless you're willing to pony up the cash. And I mean really grindy, like I've, I've, I've put a good amount of time into Battle Royale and then your resources carry over into Royale. And I'm not even close to some of the unlocks I want. So I don't know whether you get them from chests maybe, but with just the resources you're looking at putting in some serious time for the cooler skins. The actual Royale mode itself is, it's alright, I think the, be the best thing I can say about it is its implementation of like the fog, so you ever, you know, most games you have like a fog of war, Battle Royale does it really well, there's this whole shading system that means if you're peeking around a corner, most of the corner you're peeking around is going to be cut off because of the way the lighting works, and that works super good because that means you can either set up ambushes or you'll walk into an ambush, and it doesn't feel like someone was just, uh catching you off guard because of something they're abusing it's just how the game works and so yeah there's some really tense moments where I was, there was one where I was sat near a shop and I was just trying out the mechanics as I said to try and get a good impression of the game laid down a sentry turret just to buy the shop and these players kept trying to get to it but they weren't really willing to exchange the damage because healing's quite hard to get and so while they were doing that I went around there's this little loop and I went around that and I ganked them, and it was really fun. It was like a cool little natural in-game experience that I wouldn't have planned to do, but it worked super well. But so yeah, there's little things like that you can really take away from it. I will say, this is one of, if not the hardest Royale games I've played, because you have to, it's unlike PUBG or Fortnite, where you sort of just learn the mechanics, so in PUBG you sort of just learn which guns are good, which guns have like less recoil where the crates are, when not to go for them, stuff like that. In Fortnite you learn to build, 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 just build. And if you can't build, you're not going to be at the top. Literally. But with this game, you really have to know the characters, their individual mechanics, and how to counter them, basically. Which means there's a much higher learning curve. Like, if you're looking to jump in on this game, play a decent amount with AI first, just to understand. Like, the tutorial does a really good job. Like, that was, <laughs> weirdly enough, that was one of my highlights of playing it. The tutorial was simple, it laid out everything quite nicely, and so it left me feeling I knew that character. Like, uh, even though I played other Battle Royale, I'd never really bothered to play that character toting the pistols. But the tutorial really left me knowing, feeling like I knew that character, and that was good. New event. A couple of other things that got to me a little bit. The loading, like, not the actual loading screens, but the time in the lobby before matches could really drag on, to the point where I feel like... I don't know, one of the merits of Fortnite, even though all, all cards on the table, I, I do not like Fortnite personally. I do enjoy how the lobby system is quick. You, you get in, 
as soon as the players are there, you're ready to go. And it's short. PUBG has suffers from the same problem where you've got a long minute to wait usually before each one. I know a minute doesn't sound like a lot, but if you do a hot drop and you die instantly, you've then just got to kill probably longer than you had in the game in the lobby. And that's never fun. Other than that, the loot system was, it actually felt quite rewarding. Like, not the grind to buy specific items, but the actual loot you get is quite plentiful. So that gives a good little incentive to keep going. There's character specific items to reward you for playing your main. There's generic chests that give a little bit of everything. Duplicates reward extra money. It's, yeah, it's quite, it's a nice little implementation of a loot system. In game wise, the loot, the like, mechanic of where you would in PUBG or Fortnite loot in this it's you attack some orbs and the orbs have a chance to drop an item that item usually either upgrades one of your skills gives you some extra passives or is like a consumable so like a sentry turret or healing and in that way it feels a lot like that champions royale game that came out the one by high res studios that did smite it feels a lot like that where you instead of you going for gear you're mostly going for those skills because the skills are where all your damage lies there were a few outliers to that situation, like the frog character, he was the one I played the most. His auto attacks are a big part of his kit, so if you get a certain passive item that gives you the ability to leech damage and increases your attack speed, then you don't really need abilities. Of course you're going to need just the basic level of them, just so you can have the mobility, but most of your damage you can output through your basic attacks, which feels, which feels nice. It doesn't feel like you have to go for legendaries. The other thing is that... I don't know, it felt like players always dropped near each other. I had very few games where I would drop and there'd be no one around. The map doesn't feel too big. And some people might see that as a plus, actually. Some people might be like, oh good, no running around for 20 minutes like in PUBG before I see anyone. Which, if that's your bad, great. But for me, it felt a bit like... I don't know, it felt like I might as well just be playing Battle right, Except I won't have the disadvantage of maybe not having looted first. I'll just go into an arena having picked the skills I want and fight entirely based on skills that I don't know the loot and the speed combined sort of makes it feel a little unfair sometimes when you die like horribly unfair especially when you come across someone who's got an early drop gets a good item kills the player next to him builds up a lot of ultimate charge and then you run into that schmuck and he just absolutely devastates you in a 1v1 there's nothing you can do because he's got his ultimate already so yeah little things like that overall I'd say it's definitely worth trying I would but I would recommend it with a friend solo isn't very good or balanced in my opinion there's a skirting characters will just trounce others and so you basically got a lot of the draw on what lobby you get but if you have a good duo partner that you can actually plan a strategy with around your characters and your archetypes then you've got more of a shot but yeah I do overall I, did, I would say I enjoyed it but there are definitely some problems that need solving Overall, guys, I really enjoyed it, but I'm not sure if I'd recommend it. What do you guys think? What would you what would you look for in a new Royale game, and does this one sound like it's appealing to you? Let us know in the comments down below.